morning chickpeas and welcome to another lockdown vlog. So I've just weighed myself, I've just rehydrated and now it's time to make my breakfast which will be my pre-workout meal. Rule 1 protein powder from SUPS42, lint chocolate, wholemeal flour. 20 grams of protein powder, 50 grams of flour, add boiling water, one piece of lint chocolate Whoa! so this meal is really really basic good for a pre-workout meal so wholemeal self-raising flour lint chocolate and protein powder my boyfriend Liam actually put me onto this one so a lot of people have rice flour or cream of rice as their pre-workout meal but this one tastes so much better, actually cheaper. And you're also getting a little bit of fiber in there as well. So today I'll be training quads and glutes from home. And it is Saturday and Saturday night is always date night with Liam. So we're going to have a little date night just from home tonight. So we're just going to make some yummy food and enjoy our night together. So every day I get Liam to pick the colored leggings I wear. So I'm just going to go in there now, ask him what color and then start getting ready for my workout. He's still asleep. Babe. Liam. What colored leggings today? Green. Green? Mm -hmm. All right. So as per Liam's request, I am wearing green leggings today. So, so these are from Do You Even, which Liam has code for. Today I'm training quads and glutes. If I was in the gym, I would be doing leg extensions, Smith Machine box squats, abductions, leg press, Smith Machine hip thrust with a band, dumbbell goblet squat, Bulgarian split squats and lunges. Obviously some of those I can't do, so I'll just incorporate other things but most of them I still can replicate just in a home-based kind of way. So we'll see how this goes. So first exercise will be leg extensions. So I've hooked up a resistance band around the squat rack and then I'm hooking it up to my ankle straps that are from KXK Fitness, which I also have a code for. So I'm just going to wrap that around my leg. So we've got my ankle strap here, which is from KXK Fitness and I have a code for them. So I'll leave that in the description box. And then I've just tied it onto the resistance band onto the squat rack and set up a chair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually I would do six sets on the Smith machine with a bot and five sets on the leg press. So last time during COVID, I actually leg pressed my bed, but I really cannot be fucked setting that up again. So instead, I'm just going to do 11 sets of barbell squats and just vary my width stance just to use different muscles. and glutes hurty. So now I'm going to do abduction. So usually obviously I'll do it on the machine and I'll do 30, 25, 20, 15 reps each held for two seconds. So I'm just gonna replicate the same by using a band. I am crooked, you clean cut. I'm what I realize I shot. Knocked out, I'll go the distance, pound for pound, 
Now I'm moving on to barbell glute bridges. So I've just got it set up on the floor with some mats. So I'll do five sets of this one. We can stop, we can stop. Cause together, goblet squats so goblet squats are actually in my program but usually I will do sumo cable squats just because I feel like it hurts my back a little bit today I'll be doing kettlebell goblet squats yeah. Moving on to the good old Bulgarian split squat. So I'll be starting off with 10 reps, then 25, then 20 each leg. I'll be doing static lunges with the barbell. That is quads and glutes done. I'm now going to have my post-workout meal for lunch, which is chicken mince, white rice and brown rice. So I've got 100 grams in total, as well as some pasta sauce, zucchini, spinach and capsicum. But we can't do like half garlic, half normal pizza. Do we really need garlic? Because what's going to happen is I'm going to have one slice, you're going to have the rest, <laughs> and like, then you're going to be oh. full, and you're not going to be able to eat any of the fucking good pizza or the dessert one. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't. I'm in the bad books because I already spread all the sauce. So, yeah, I can't believe you started. That. So, what are we using? Just pass the sauce that we used for the meatballs yeah we want that shit saucy time for the toppings uh, what's the how are you making it look aesthetic you gonna fold it fuck i fucked it <laughs> <laughs> no we're not making it aesthetic we're making the aesthetic is gonna be that it's i thought you said you were gonna make it aesthetic yeah it will be aesthetic but it's not gonna be like a symmetrical aesthetic wow it's gonna be different <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be fucking different, alright? It's gonna be a shit show. Isn't it? <laughs> Thick boy. Damn, this looks fucking bossing. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually like watering it now. <laughs> Ooh, what do we got here? Mozzarella. Oh, yeah. Bit of mozzi. Jeez, that's a fucking lot of cheese. That's a lot of cheese. RIP to the toilet. So I'm just gonna sprinkle some Italian herbs on the pizza. How are we looking? What's that? That's basil leaves. Yuck. Yuck. That'd be good. So now the entree is ready. What should we call this? Meatball soup. saucy bocconcini dish. Cheese meat soup. Yeah, perfect. So I'll just chuck the pizza in the oven. And we'll grab this one. Oh, look at that, Liam. That looks so good. Look at that. She's sizzling. Oh, look at that cheese. Fuck it up, sis. Bust. <laughs> Moment of truth. Ready? Cheers. Mmm. You get everything? Yeah, that's good. 
Oh. Yes. Oh my god. Let's do it. Let me hold. Mmm. Ah. Uh. <laughs> That's good. Fuck <laughs> sake. Good spaghetti. That's good. Now we're gonna make the dessert pizza. So we're going to bread Nutella and then top with marshmallows, M and M's, and then strawberries. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> so now we've got the Nutella. Now we're going to top it with some marshmallows. A bit more. M&M's. Oh, this shit's going to slap. <laughs> How's that? Good? Yeah. A bit more? That's good. We are on. So we melted some chocolate. Just gonna drizzle that on top. If it comes out. Oh, she's slow. <laughs> oh, this is not going to plan. Get a fork and just drizzle it. Yeah, true. Oh, you fucked it up. It's hot. Oh, you fucked it up so bad. I think I heated it up for too long. You, Ow, that's you, fucking hot. <laughs> you burnt it. I know. Oh, it still looks good though. Yum. You burnt it. I think that lint chocolate was very unnecessary. But the aesthetics. It just looks like Max Shat on it. Well, it was meant to be a proper drizzle. This shit's like a cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, those marshmallows. Mm. Oh, yum. Mm. Wow, that's good. It's like a Pop Tart because it's so hard. <laughs> so, date night feed was so, so good. So, we made meatballs with minced garlic paste, herbs and spices, and salt and pepper, and then just poured pasta sauce on top and put boccaccini all through it. That was so good. Pizza was unreal. The dessert pizza was a little bit overcooked, so Liam does mention it was quite hard, but it was still really tasty. So I just wanted to put that on there just to kind of show that it is okay to enjoy your food once a week and have a cheat night because at the end of the day, if you're not going to enjoy your food with your loved ones, then you're just going to have a bad relationship with training and eating. So it's really important to enjoy your foods, have a refeed day, have a cheat day and just enjoy yourself. Thank you so much for watching again and I'll see you on the next one.